Okay, this is a quick tutorial on um, putting some animation into CryEngine. So, start a scene in Max and we're just going to make a box and animate it and bring it in. So let's make a box and give it a name. We'll call it box animation and save the file. So I've put mine into the CryEngine folder, game objects. I've made a new folder in there from my animated objects. Um, so let's give that folder the same name and let's call the max scene the same thing as well. Okay, let's add some animation to our box. So auto key on and let's just move it around a bit. And put it back to the beginning. Day. Now we just need to export that into CryEngine. So we want to um, open our exporter, add the box, add selected, and let's give it a custom file name and make sure the export format is set to animated geometry. So if we click those little bits there, we can make sure it's got the right name. The box animation is fine. So let's export nodes. Now let's export the animation. So animation for CGA. So we want a .anim file to go with that. Um, custom file name again. Right, we want to call this, we want to make sure that this is called box animation. Um, and then we can give it an underscore for the name of the animation. So let's call this animation one. Save that. And export notes. Go into CryEngine. Entity. Anim object. Bring that in and that will bring in a default sphere, so we want to change that to our model. Um, so let's find our model. So anim objects, box animation, box animation. And then we just need to change our animation to the name of our animation, which was animation one. I can spell it right. Uh, we'll make it loop and set plane to true, and there you go. So now we can hook this up to um, a cinematic in track view, or we can hook it up to like a trigger that you could walk over um, in flow graph. Um, we can do all sorts with it. That's it. Hey, one very important thing that I've just thought I should add to the end of this video is when you're exporting the animation, you need to make sure that if you go into your motion panel with the box selected and go to assign controller, the controllers for these position and rotation up don't think the scale works, um, but for position rotation, you have to make sure that the um, the controller is set to TCB position for position and TCB rotation for rotation. If you don't do that, then CryEngine won't recognize the animation. Um, so you can set those once you've set that up. Just if you're doing a lot of CryEngine stuff, just make sure that's set to default and you'll never have to do it again.